Good morning, everybody. Welcome to another vlog. This is what we're currently working with at the moment. It's probably hard to tell, but um, I just, I'm in need of a glow up. Things are just not good in the old brain at the moment. That has kind of resulted in me avoiding responsibilities, not drinking enough water, not taking care of my body, laying and rotting on the couch, over consuming social media, etc. And sometimes when I take care of myself from the outside, I feel better on the inside. So we're gonna, you know, work on that today. We have a very busy day. If you can hear construction in the background, I'm so sorry. It's <laughs> literally when one construction site ends like directly next to my house another one begins it's fine but yeah here is what we're working with but before we get into the the glow up and just kind of getting my life together um we did have our friends over the other night for the tokyo vice finale and i got a couple of clips from that so i'll show you <laughs> Okay, it's like 10 p.m. because um, we have already finished our show. Our friends just left to go home. But the Tokyo Vice season, perhaps series, it's not 100% sure yet, finale was so good. This show is incredible. It has become like one of my favorite shows. All of the actors were amazing. Everything was so satisfying. Like, I think it's so rare for a season to wrap up and for it to feel like, okay, I'm, I'm satisfied with all of this. I feel like everybody got what you wanted them to get, you know, one way or the other. And it was, I cannot recommend this show enough. If you have a HBO Max, it is so entertaining. It's so good. It's like loosely based on a true story. We were sitting here with our friends screaming, like literally screaming. It was so good. I can't even begin to tell you. How good this show is so if you do one thing if you're interested in anything related to japan at all whatsoever watch this show it's phenomenal the cast is incredible the writing is really good i have fallen in love with all of the characters well not all of them but most of them and they're incredible you have to watch it it's so good i'm so happy i'm going to bed now because it's like 10 p.m on a sunday night but wow Wow, that was incredible. So, okay, back to present day, back to this morning. This is this is where we're at. It's honestly not bad, but there's just things like, you know, um, there's just things that need attention. So first things first, we're gonna jump in the shower. I wish I could work out. I am two weeks out from my brow appointment. It has officially been two weeks today and they look fantastic, but they're still healing. I don't know if it's because I'm anemic and it takes a little bit longer for that, but either way, I'm gonna take just a couple more days before I exercise because I really don't want to mess up the healing process and the pigment, but I gotta wash my hair. I want to fake tan. I want to put on my cute little DIY lash extensions. I want to put on a cute outfit and I want to film some videos and feel like I'm ahead because that's when I always feel the best and obviously this just can't go on any longer it just simply can't so let's jump in the shower I'll do everyone a favor jump scare shower i feel so much better already i don't know what it is but when i'm having bad mental health days or just i'm not feeling 100 percent myself i like don't want to shower i don't really want to take care of myself and i mean i took a shower late last night like a body shower but i needed to do like all of it you know wash my hair shave scrub all of the above so that feels good i'm gonna put on some makeup um this is like one of the first times i'm actually putting on makeup since getting my brows done they're not fully fully healed yet like i said it is the two week mark but i'm just being careful i'm just being careful after i got out of the shower i did a quick fake tan i did a self tanner that i don't recommend honestly so don't buy that um i bought it based off of a recommendation and it's not great but that's all i have right now i'm waiting on some other ones to come in so i did that one um i also did this teeth whitening strip thing for the first time i really wanted to get my teeth professionally whitened but i heard 
horror stories about it so i'm gonna just try like that home thing and i don't have any final reviews on this yet because it was literally my first time using it but we will see how it goes so i use those i'm gonna try to use those every day for the next two weeks and see what happens i have sensitive teeth like extremely sensitive teeth so i will definitely let you know how that goes so now i'm just going to finish up my makeup put on my little diy at home lash extensions which these are the ones that i use by the way these are by flutter habit and they're called the sweetheart i also use their glue and it works great Great. So it's called Made for This. Uh, one of my friends recommend, one of my friends from back home in Arizona recommended this to me like a year ago. And I just like doing this because it literally takes me five minutes. I do it once a week. Like it, they last the entire week. I wash my face as normal, do my makeup as normal. And it's just nice to do it once and then have them last the whole week. So I usually do that on like Sunday nights, Mondays, or occasionally if I need to like redo them if one goes wonky or whatever. So let me put on like the rest of my eye makeup really quick and then I'll show you how I apply them. I think I've shown it in a video before, but that was a while ago and just in case anyone's curious. All right, so here is the exact process that I do. I start out, this isn't necessary. I just like have it for extra hold. This is the Lashify Bondage with Charcoal Flex. Uh, lash glue and you actually put this on your lashes but I just put it at the very very base of my lashes I don't like run it through like I would a mascara so I literally just touch it like this because the lashes go at the base of your lash line underneath your top lash line if that makes sense so I just put that on wait for it to get tacky and then it's just kind of like an extra layer of glue and protection and I don't know if this helps hold it on longer but for me it's tackier than the other glue so it just helps with application then I take my little tweezer thingies these are by Lashify as well you don't need these these are incredibly expensive but I wear them like every week so it's just convenient and it's just nice to have because they just go right into the shape of your lash line you know so I've already applied glue to the top of the lash and then I literally just pop it underneath but of course now that I'm filming it it's probably gonna mess up but here's what I do ready <laughs> I don't know if you can see that and also my red dot on my eye is getting so much lighter thank god so what I do is I just place it underneath that's literally it then I just take the thing I flip it the other way and I just squeeze my lashes together with the false lash and like fuse them and that's it. <laughs> that's literally it. I do it three times on each side and boom, we're done. So I'll show you with the next one. I just peel it off of the little thingy and that's literally it. Boom. I also wipe off the tweezers in between because there gets like glue on it and stuff. And with trial and error, like you've got to figure out the positioning that you like it in because sometimes it can be like a little bit too close to your eyeball and it can get a little pokey. So you may need to just like move it around. But basically I'm going to do my third one. And that's it for this eye. Now I have these lashes on the entire week. And there is the difference between the eye with the lashes and the eye without. So I think it looks nice. It's not for everyone, but I really like it. And it's a hell of a lot cheaper and faster than eyelash extensions. Whoa. All right, I'm gonna do the other eye. Then I'm gonna give myself a nice little blowout. And then our glow up will be complete. <laughs> All right, got myself ready. I am definitely feeling better. There's just, you know, I'm not gonna complain about my neighbors and like the noise and stuff, but there's just like, there's been a lot going on lately behind the scenes and it's just, it's really weighing on me and Drew. Like it's, it's starting to get pretty bad. And it's, I think it's also just because we've had a bad neighbor situation in the past that it's just kind of coming back up again. And um, I'm definitely sensitive to noise. So, and now Drew is as well. People just don't have common courtesy. <laughs> they really don't. So anyways, it's all good. Um, but I am feeling a little bit better just like physically. Um, so that's good. I'm going to film a couple of videos and then film like a fun little bit for a main channel video that includes food. So I'm very excited about that. I'm gonna try like a viral recipe. <laughs> All right, we got one video down. We have like one and a half to go. I have a company that I've been wanting to try for a long time that makes products that have built-in bras, which like 
that sounds like the best thing in the entire world so that'll be up soon i'm gonna film that i might have a little snack first then i'm gonna make lunch then i'm gonna film one more little thing for another video and then it's editing for the rest of the day i already feel better after filming and just getting back into my routine getting out of my head you know sometimes you just got to get out of your own head and that's definitely something that i struggle with i spiral we'll chat about it afterwards because i've been really just like with the housing market and the rental market and just everything i've been kind of spiraling lately which i know a lot of you are relating to as well so we will chat about that but in the meantime i'm gonna make a snack we're gonna knock out this other video and then we're gonna make some lunch all right just got done filming a main channel video here's a sneak peek but it is so good Eat from the middle it's the best part it's the gooey bit the couple is hot the smile. You started chewing anywhere. It's so good. All right. It's a little while later and I am just sorting through the footage that I filmed today. And oh my God, my leg is so tan because I don't normally self tan like during the day. I do it at night before I go to bed and then wash it off, but it looks crazy. Anyways, I'm gathering and sorting all of the footage that I filmed today because I did some vlog stuff. I filmed some main channel stuff on this camera. So I'm just like separating it in all the folders that it needs to go in. But yeah, part of the thing that has been kind of not stressing Drew and I out, but just something that we've been thinking about a lot is now that it's April, we have like a month until our lease is up and we're just trying to figure out what it is that we want to do because not only is our apartment here insanely expensive but it's gonna get more expensive the rent is gonna be raised like a lot to a point that it's just ridiculous and also there's just a lot of stuff like there's just constant construction it's really busy it's really loud so there's just like other cons um these are things that we could live with but it's just things that we think about so we've got to figure that out this weekend we're gonna go look at a few more places and like actually seriously start to look um, just because, you know, I occasionally have viewed places, Drew and I have occasionally viewed places, but we need to get a little more serious about it to sort of see what we can get and what's out there and all that kind of stuff. And I love watching like apartment hunting vlogs, so there will definitely be some of those whether or not we move. But the housing market and just the rental market in general is insane. It's insane. Sometimes I'm, I feel like I should be buying a house, like it's something I should be doing instead of like something I really want to do. And I do have the desire to do it for sure. I think this is probably pretty common for people in their 30s and even people in their 20s. People of all ages, honestly, but the interest rates are insane. If we bought Drew's mom's house that she currently lives in, which we almost did a couple of years ago, it didn't end up working out. But if we bought her house that she lives in right now, we'd be paying three times her mortgage for the same house. Uh, that's with putting 20% down. I have, I know someone who was looking to buy a place in LA and it was $1.5 million because that's a normal price to buy like a condo. And with their down payment, which was like 25% of the house price, their mortgage was going to be $10,000 a month. Like, <laughs> I'm laughing so I don't cry because it's absolutely unhinged. What the actual fuck? If you have, I get a lot of comments that are like, I live in... XYZ and I have a mortgage of $500 a month and I have a lot of land and I'm so happy for you genuinely like enjoy that soak it up <laughs> love it that's just not the reality and you know we're our families are in Arizona and we love being in California we love being so close by we love being close to our friends and anyway it's just one of those things where it is so, sorry my chair is squeaking. She's, she's a squeaky lady. It's just so crazy. Like my childhood home that my parents lived in together, I'd be paying over five times what my parents paid for that mortgage if I bought that house today. But yeah, I'm just blabbing for no reason. It's just, it's like, wow, it's just a lot. It's a lot at the moment. How are people buying houses these days? I don't understand. If only I were um, not an infant in 1987 and I could have just been buying property instead, I'd be much better off. One of my favorite ways to torture myself, I talked about this on Instagram stories, is when I go to these estate sales that I go to in LA and look at how much they paid for their house in like the 70s and then how much it would cost if I bought it now. Um, it'll really send you down a downward spiral. Oh my god. It's like, oh, it was $70,000 back then. Try again. It's freaking four million. <laughs> anyway, 
okay, that's enough. This is something that Drew and I talk about regularly, like just how insane it is. I'm like, how are people affording houses? I don't understand. Obviously they live in other places and like they have down payments and stuff like that. But with these interest rates, forget it. I'd be paying triple what I pay in rent. So looks like we're renting for the time being. But anyway, I'm gonna do a little bit of editing and then we will catch up later. All right, it's the next day and I've been doing a little bit of walking on my walking pad and I took a break because I got a delivery from Sephora because it's the Sephora sale is currently happening as I'm filming this and I am so excited. I only got essentials. These are actually like just, I'm pretty sure all refills of things I already had except I might have gotten one new thing. So I thought I would show you what I got at the Sephora sale. Cause I don't know, I'm, I don't know if I've ever shopped the Sephora sale before. Maybe I have, I don't recall. But um, the first thing I got is another one of these day three in one, cactus root three in one styling cream. This is what I used to do with my slicked back hairstyles. And I gotta support a fellow Arizona girly. This stuff smells unbelievable. It smells so heavenly. It's great for like anti-frizz as well. If you don't do like slicked back hairstyles, I literally almost went like this. <laughs> Wish you could smell it. It's such a staple. I love their products. Really, really good stuff. They're vegan and vegetarian, cruelty-free with no SLS, SLES, parabens, phthalates, synthetic colors, etc. So yeah, we love that. What else? I got a, a refill or a replacement. What do you call it? Like I, I got another one of the Kosas Revealer um, Concealer because this stuff is amazing. I got it in a little bit of a darker shade this time. I think last time I got like one point something and this is 2.3. It is like the creamiest, nicest concealer. I guess I can put it on like one of my blemishes or something so you can see. I hope this is the right color. I don't know, but it just blends so effortlessly. It's beautiful. And there you have it. I mean, I'm, I can only see in the viewfinder, so I don't know if that's perfect, but love this stuff. I also got the full size of the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Lip Duo, because I have the travel size. Drew got it for me for Christmas, like, I don't know, a year or so ago. But I decided to treat myself to the full size because it is truly my everyday lip combo. It's expensive, but it is worth it. So here is the Pillow Talk Lip Liner. It's like a kind of mauve pink color. And then here is the Pillow Talk lipstick. So freaking pretty. There we have it. Oh, it smells so good. It has like a slight hint of vanilla. And so I'm gonna put this full size one in my bathroom where I get ready. And then I'm gonna keep the travel size one in my purse for like when I'm on the go. Cause I still have a little bit of that. And then the new thing that I got is a Tower 28 lip jelly. I have the color I think it's called cashew, but I wanted to try this one. I always see it in like the ads and stuff. And this one's called XOXO. I'm kind of having deja vu right now. I'm like, have I bought this before? I don't think I have, but I love this formula. It's just like a pretty pink color, but it's obviously gonna be like a little more sheer. How cute is that? But yeah, that is what I got at the Sephora sale. Oh, this lip liner does not wanna come off. She is. She is long wearing, I guess. Anyway, I'm gonna get back to walking and then probably make some lunch here in a little bit. It's been one of those days and I've just really struggled. Sorry, that's very loud. Really struggled with just like getting things done today. I have not been good at that. And so I feel like getting at least some steps in while I'm getting my work done has helped a lot. It just helps me feel like I'm doing something else. <laughs> so I'm grateful for that. So anyway, okay, I'm gonna put this stuff away and then we'll chat more later. And wouldn't you know, I sat down to edit this vlog and realized that I didn't end it yet again. So here I am. This lighting looks so green and yellow. I don't know what's going on. It's just normal in this room. This camera has a hard time with like low light sometimes. And also this apartment is very dark, so it's okay. But yeah, I'm just sitting down now. I'm actually um, almost finished editing this vlog. So I just need to add this little bit in. I need to fix 
my squeaky chair because it's driving me insane. The next vlog you see is going to be a weekend vlog. So we're going to do some apartment hunting. I don't know if that's going to be included in the weekend vlog or if I'll do like a separate, like, you know, all the apartment tours I do coming up pretty soon and then just make it like one big video and then you can kind of see and I'll like number it and that kind of thing. Let me know your thoughts down below. But it's supposed to be like a rainy, cozy weekend. I was going to say because it's such a beautiful day today, I really want to redo the back patio, even if we only end up living here for like another month or so. Um, I really want to like make it usable again because all this rain and stuff has really gotten to it but we are supposed to have like a very rainy cozy weekend so i might postpone that and like wait until later and just enjoy the rainy weekend make some chili cozy up on the couch in our pajamas like that sounds amazing so we will see about that and i really want to clean out my closet in the next vlog i don't know if i'll get around to it right away or if i'll make it into like a main channel video i need to rotate like my winter stuff for spring and summer stuff so we'll see when i end up doing that I can't remember if I said this, but I'm also sitting down to send some footage to my editor for this week's main channel video. I send footage to her once a week. She kills it every time. I'm absolutely obsessed with her. So that's going to be fun. And I wrapped up all of my filming, which is great. I got so much done over the last like couple of days. I'm feeling a lot better, just like getting ahead and feeling like I've got some work like stacked up and ready to go and ready to post makes me feel my best for sure. But something always like falls off the plate like definitely anyway i'm going on too much of a tangent now just wanted to come on here and end this vlog so thank you so much for watching and i'll see you very soon in the next vlog bye